What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at a much easier and faster way for you to get the Deepstone Crypt raid chest. This can be done on any class regardless of your subclass. So if you're struggling to get the chest on your hunter or you haven't been able to do it on your warlock yet, be sure to stick around and check out the video. If you do enjoy the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now yesterday here on the channel we covered a way you can get two raid chests from the new Deepstone Crypt raid on any class. It is entirely possible, however some of the chests are a little bit more difficult on some of the other classes in the game, most notably the Hunter. So in this video we're taking a look at an alternative route which is not only easier for all classes, it's much quicker as well. Now all of these chests will either drop raid mods and spoils of conquest if you have completed encounters in the raid already and have loot from those encounters then that will be added to your loot pool as part of these chests so if you're not able to run it on other characters then you can still load in and grab these chests to get some loot anyway now as before once you've cleared the opening section you'll want to do the glitch here to make sure you're able to run through this first part of the raid without the frostbite debuff what you need to do here is park up your sparrow outside the heat bubble jump back inside and then hop back onto your sparrow which is outside this means you'll have the shelter from the storm buff instead meaning you have as much time as you need to navigate your way through the storm. Now there's no requirements to capture any of the heat plates, it's simply a matter of navigating your way through this maze and collecting the chest. So be sure to follow the route that I'm taking here now to get your hands on the first chest. Now much like yesterday's video, I've added timestamps to the video description down below. So if you already have the first chest from yesterday but wasn't able to get the second chest, then be sure to drop down into the video description to save yourself some time. With that being said, I'm going to let the route play out for the first chest right now and I'll catch up with you at the second chest. So here we are at the restricted area. In yesterday's video, we jumped up on this light and went into an out of bounds area. However, there is a much easier and faster way to get the second chest that can be done on all classes. So instead of jumping up here, we're gonna head into the restricted zone where we'd normally have the crypt security encounter. Now, if you haven't been in this part of the raid already, be sure to follow the route that I'm taking once again on your Sparrow, and this will quickly get you to the cyber security room where the first encounter in the raid officially takes place. Now once you've made it to the room, you can rally the flag and this will give you plenty of sword ammo. It won't be required, however having a sword and being in third person definitely makes it easier when navigating out of bounds. Now what you want to do here is head downstairs where the operator is normally stationed and head to the far side of the underground section. Here in the corner you can simply walk through the wall and with this you've skipped a big part of the previous out of bounds section. 
Now from here, you simply need to follow the path that I'm taking once again, and this will take you to the second chest. I'm sure you will all agree, this is much easier and faster on all classes. So if you haven't got this second chest, this is by far the best route to take in order to get your hands on that sweet raid loot. And with that being said, I'm going to let the route play out from here. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content. Be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys. But I will catch you all again very soon.